Hello everyone, my name is Gan Shen. I'm a PhD student in animal welfare program. As we know, it is vital to assess lameness longitudinally for dairy cows, but it's impractical to do so with manual lameness scoring. I'm here today to propose an innovative approach that would enable us to conduct large quantity of lameness assessments in a flash. For some of you who are in the previous IRC meetings, I presented the ideas behind this project in the past, and today I'm happy to present some continuation work and statistical results. So here is a video showing a cow walking. For the audience, I'm wondering, do you think this cow looks lame or not lame to you? Well, for me, I'm not so sure because I have never conducted any training in lameness assessment in the past. However, if I play another video to the right and I ask you which cow out of the two is more lame, I think we could all agree that the cow on the right is much more lame. And do you think we need an extensive workshop in lameness training to know how to do this? Probably not. The objective of this project is to investigate if those random people recruited from the internet, so the click workers we recruit from Amazon, with no training in lameness assessments and likely no background in agriculture, could also accurately conduct peer-wise lameness assessment for dairy cows. We launched 90 video peers in total on Amazon, and each of the video peers was assessed by 50 click workers and five lameness experts. We took the average responses from the two groups of assessors. Each of the data points in the plot corresponds to one video peer, where minus three means the cow on the left is much more lame, and three means the cow on the right is much more lame. Our results shows that click workers and experts are in high agreement in deciding not only which cow is more lame, but also how much more lame. So as I said before, we recruited 50 click workers per video peer, but that's a lot of workers. However, in fact, how many workers do we really need to obtain a reliable assessment? We randomly sampled a subset of workers from all 50, and as you can see on the y-axis, showing the level of agreement between click workers and experts, the agreement gradually increased as we increased the number of click workers sampled uh, until we reached 10 on the x-axis. It just plateaued. So our results show that we only need about 10 click workers to reliably assess each video pair. The Amazon platform we created enables large quantity of peer-wise lameness assessments of dairy cattle to be completed in a rapid, accurate, and inexpensive manner. And with some further development with machine learning, this would be applicable on the farm in the future. Thank you so much for your attention.